a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mark Judge, writer. Mark Gavro Judge is an American author and journalist. His books include several memoirs about his suburban Montgomery County, Maryland childhood and his struggle to overcome alcoholism, including Wasted, Tales of a Gen X Drunken God and Man at Georgetown Prep. Judge became a widely discussed figure during the 2018 Supreme Court nomination hearings of Brett Kavanaugh, when Professor Christine Blassie Ford alleged that Judge was present and laughing as Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were high school students over 30 years previously. Judge said he had no memory of the incident. Early Life and Education Judge was born in 1964. His father is Joseph Judge. His father had graduated from Catholic University of America in 1950 and subsequently became a journalist for life and then for National Geographic. Judge is the grandson of Joe Judge, a Major League Baseball player for the Washington Senators for the period 1915-1932. Judge later wrote a book about his grandfather. Judge grew up in Montgomery County, Maryland. Judge describes his parents as often inattentive and recounts that he observed his father's heavy drinking of alcohol. Judge started drinking at 14. He attended Georgetown Preparatory School, graduating in 1983. Judge was friends with classmate Brett Kavanaugh. Both were in the same class there with Maryland State Senate member Richard Madaleno. The period became the subject of scrutiny in 2018 when Brett Kavanaugh was nominated to the United States Supreme Court and allegations surfaced that in 1982 Judge witnessed Kavanaugh sexually assaulting Christine Blasey Ford, then a student from a local girls' school. Judge received his Bachelor of Arts degree from Catholic University of America in 1990. Career Judge was a freelance writer in 1989 in the Washington, D.C. area. By 1990 he had become a contributor to the Progressive, In These Times, and Sojourners. Judge briefly taught at Georgetown University, but left in the 1990s. In 1997 Judge wrote Wasted, Tales of a Gen X Drunk, a memoir about his youthful alcoholism. The New York Times Review called it a, naive and earnest, book. Judge resided in Potomac, Maryland in 1998. Judge was a contributing writer to New York Press in 1999. Judge published If It Ain't Got That Swing, The Rebirth of Grown-Up Culture in 2000. The book chronicled the author's transition from support of liberalism towards right-wing politics. In this, Judge was influenced by the writings of Christopher Lash, especially his work The Culture of Narcissism. By February 2001, Judge's book If It Ain't Got That Swing had become a bestseller in the United States. However the book received largely negative reviews. Judge's book Damn Senators, on his Major League Baseball player grandfather Joe Judge, was published in 2003 to favorable reviews, especially in the conservative press. The Weekly Standard wrote of the author's description of 1924. Mark Gavreau Judge has beautifully captured the excitement and intensity of that season. On Weekend Edition, journalist Michael Cranish highlighted Judge's book Damn Senators among his favorite summer reading picks in 2004. The Wall Street Journal wrote that Judge, so nicely captured, the glory of Washington baseball, in Damn Senators. Judge published God and Man at Georgetown Prep in 2005. He wrote that the faculty at Georgetown Prep contained a multitude of homosexual priests. The memoir detailed how he published the school's underground newspaper which had information on wild parties. Judge's book had an impact on the educational institution itself with biographer Jerry Oppenheimer writing in his 2015 book RFK Jr., Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and The Dark Side of the Dream. It caused quite a storm, especially among the alumni and administration going back decades. Because Judge, a conservative Catholic, had alleged that alcoholism was rampant among the left-wing Jesuits and claimed that the school had been a hotbed of rampant homosexuality. Half of the faculty, he asserted, was gay, Publishers Weekly called the book, a humorous, edgy look at his experiences in three prestigious U.S. Catholic schools. National Catholic Register found judges writing to be too vague, commenting, There are too many theories and too little space. The Wichita Eagle recommended a piece by Judge for Christianity Today in 2006, 
commenting it evidenced the ability of religious believers to appreciate the good that musical culture can bring to society. Judge's book, A Tremor of Bliss, Sex, Catholicism, and Rock and Roll, was published in 2010. First Things wrote, an insightful history of the rise of contraception in the last century provides the most valuable material in A Tremor of Bliss. The publication recommended Judge's work, concluding, A Tremor of Bliss is a book well worth reading from an author unafraid of showing some attitude. Jeremy Lott of the Washington Times reviewed the book, concluding, Judge proposes a Catholic sexual counter-revolution, though he doesn't want to call it that. What he clearly does want is U.S. Catholic education to play a vital role in countering the current almost-anything-goes culture. In addition to writing books, Judge has contributed to The Wall Street Journal, The New York Times, The Washington Post, The Weekly Standard, and First Things. Regarding LGBT people, Judge wrote in The Daily Caller, We simply are not allowed to talk about certain things at the risk of our jobs and reputations. One is human anatomy, another is the problem of promiscuity in the gay community. Judge wrote a piece titled, Hard Case Crime, The Beauty of Male Passion, on Splice Today lamenting that, today's social justice warriors don't like a sexy damsel in distress. Judge elaborated that, of course, no means no and yes means yes. But there's also that ambiguous middle ground, where the woman seems interested and indicates, whether verbally or not that the man needs to prove himself to her. And if that man is any kind of man, he'll allow himself to feel the awesome power, the wonderful beauty, of uncontrollable male passion. Brett Kavanaugh Supreme Court Nomination In 2018, Judge was implicated in an alleged sexual assault that surfaced after his high school classmate Brett Kavanaugh was nominated to the Supreme Court of the United States. On September 27, Christine Blasey Ford testified under oath before the United States Senate Committee on the Judiciary that when all three were in high school at a party in 1982, Judge and Kavanaugh pushed her into a bedroom where Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed, groped her, and attempted to remove her clothing against her will while Judge watched and laughed. Judge told the New Yorker that he had no recollection of the alleged incident. In a follow-up interview with the Weekly Standard, Judge called the allegations, just absolutely nuts. I never saw Brett act that way. Asked if there was, rough housing, with female peers that the weekly standard interviewer suggested, might have been interpreted differently by parties involved. Judge said he only recollected it taking place among the male students of the all boys school. I don't remember any of that stuff going on with girls. He subsequently sent a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee saying, I have no memory of this alleged incident. Judge also stated he did not wish to speak publicly about the incident. Following the announcement of the allegations, Judge temporarily moved to a beach house in Bethany Beach, Delaware under recommendation of his lawyer. He was found a week later by a Washington Post reporter outside the home, along with his car, which was filled with his belongings. Multiple U.S. Senators acquired copies of Judge's books about his time with Kavanaugh at Georgetown Preparatory School to prepare for questioning Kavanaugh and Ford before the United States Senate Committee on the Judiciary. In a subsequent New Yorker article, Elizabeth Razor, who was once in a relationship with Judge for three years, stated that, Mark told me a very different story. She said he told her of taking turns having sex with drunk women at Georgetown Prep. Another woman also disputed Judge's account of the social scene at the time, sending a letter to Ford's lawyer saying that she had witnessed boys at parties that included Georgetown Prep students engaging in sexual misconduct. On September 28, 2018, Senator Richard Blumenthal made a motion before the United States Senate Committee on the Judiciary to subpoena Judge to testify about Kavanaugh. Blumenthal said before calling his motion, he has never been questioned by any member of our committee. He has never submitted a detailed account of what he knows and so I move that we subpoena Mark Judge. Blumenthal noted, the third person in the room was Mark Judge, who was never questioned by the FBI or interviewed by the committee. Republicans defeated the motion for a subpoena on a party line vote. 
U.S. Congressman Ted Lieu of the United States House Committee on the Judiciary and Congressman Elijah Cummings of the United States House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform stated their intentions to subpoena judge and call him for testimony before the U.S. Congress after the 2018 U.S. midterm elections. After Republican U.S. Senator Jeff Flake called for an FBI investigation, Judge released a statement that he would cooperate with all law enforcement authorities regarding the allegations against Kavanaugh. After a request from Flake, followed by a request from the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee, President Trump ordered an FBI investigation into the sexual assault allegations. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?